And they're off. The annual Canadian Championship Dog Derby was held over the Long John Jamboree weekend in Yellowknife. On, on, on! It took three days to finish the 240 kilometers on Great Slave Lake. Jaden Beck of Yellowknife was the first across the finish line in two hours and 42 minutes. He beat out seven other teams, including his uncle, Richard Beck, and collected the $6,000 purse. It was very exciting and I love my dogs for getting this far and taking me to this point, coming in first. You know, we put in many, many hours and many, many uh, dark nights in Yellowknife in that training for it. And so it's, uh, when you win it, uh, it's a uh, well worth a uh, win. The Beck family has a long history training dogs. Jaden is the fifth generation to mush. It's something that I was born with from when I was one, I was on a sled and then it's all I've ever known is dogs. It's always nice to live up to being a good Aboriginal kid and setting an, exa an example for other youth. The first Canadian Championship Dog Derby was held in 1955, back when dog sledding was still very much a vital means of transportation. Much has changed about the race, but on the trail, dog teams and their mushers move along exactly as they have for centuries. You know, my dad used to be a trapper many years ago, and we, I, uh, we uh, used to go in the land for three months, and we go down uh, with a dog sled and then we come back with the boats. So most of the natives, the older natives and that, that was their way of life and everything, so. The Becks say that getting into the championship comes with great responsibility. The most important thing is dog care, you know. We we look after our dogs 24-7, you know. We got, we, they got the best meals, the best water, the best exercise, the best care, the best uh, medical attention you can get, you know. You, you know, and you, there's a fine line between uh, a winning team. While many of the mushers say they run for the beauty of being on the trail with their dogs and fellow mushers, a little friendly competition between family doesn't hurt. I beat him in the world championship in the paw, but that was about it. How does it feel to beat your uncle? It feels good. Three, two, one. From the heritage of the trap line to a modern sporting event, mushers will continue to travel far and wide to showcase their skills. Charlotte Moore Jacobs, APTN National News, Yellowknife.